everybody, this is Frank Yabrazino with The Scoop News. Okay, I wanted to do a report because you're going to see some changes on how The Scoop is ran, how I put out stuff. Um, as most of you guys may or may not know, I own a medical consulting business. The other day, somebody in the industry never knew that. He thought I just did The Scoop. My daughter came home and said, people think you just do The Scoop. If that were the case, $20 a month, $30 a month is not going to do it. Um, so I went out, I got a primary care physician um, last week, which is going to keep me pretty busy for the next couple months. And in my mind, you know, getting an account that might bring in a half million a year versus doing this for free, I'm going to go with that. And so I'm going to start focusing on the stuff that makes me money. Um, I'm still going to keep some focus on this because it truly does, I believe, help the community. I was watching It's a Wonderful Life, and he reflected upon if he died um the impact and how it would have impacted society and if you look at if the scoop was never around how it would have impacted society um, even though a lot of people don't like me they have a, a lot of disdain towards me it has impacted the community in a big way there's issues out there like the well field that would have never been covered by major media and what the scoop does is forces these uh, local MSMs to get out there and cover stories almost all all the uh, producers with all the local media, the editors and publishers, follow my page and they'll tell the reporters what to go out and get out if they see a story that's on my page to their liking that started, originated here. Happens on a regular basis. Hence why I've had, what, five international stories, like ten national stories out there due to this. So the impact and um, the positive impact has been overwhelming, I think, over the last nine, ten years. Uh, but you come to a certain point where you got to say, well, that's great, but what's more important, making more money and doing my consulting thing or doing this? And I love doing this. I thrive upon doing this, but the money isn't there. I've tried uh, the advertising. Um, that doesn't generate enough. Right now, the, what I have is rev content. doesn't generate, covers the hosting and everything. Even though it annoys you guys, I can't continue to do everything for free, so it covers the hosting stuff. Um, go find a news site that does not have advertising, I challenge you. The other thing, I tried to get uh, com the community to advertise because somebody wrote me and said, do you advertise? And I said, no, nah, I did away with that. I'm not, I'm not even attempting to anymore. Um, and that's because I put it out there and, that, and there was essentially no interest. Um, basically, they want me to put their company on the page for free. They when they find out you don't do that what they do is either them or their friends or somebody will say hey um does anybody know a lawnmower company and i'll put that out there next thing i know i find out it's either that person or someone related to them that wanted that posting on there so that they could come underneath and advertise their lawn mowing company amazing enough they do that versus saying hey frank i know you do a lot for the community why don't i give you some money and put this out there um the other thing is uh, just the over, overall, just the attacks. Um, I get a lot of people that like me, but I get a lot of people that just don't like me. Um, it's amazing and not sure why, because a lot of these people don't know me. A lot of them are keyboard badasses that won't come near me in the street, um, but they're the keyboard ad badasses that just keep on and on and on. And you've learned over the years to just ignore them. You're a public figure. It happens, blah. Um, the news media changing that whole shift because all I've been is a marketing company for them. I basically put their newscast on my site, a link to it on my site. It shows up on my site and it's advertising their product and I'm a marketing company, which they should love, but they don't. And you can tell that with a great deal of disdain and glaring I get from these people. They think you're, you know, your because your degree is in business management. I mean, what I did business management, University of Maryland, FIT. I took four classes towards my master's, got bored with it, and, and stopped. But because I didn't study journalism or media, I'm not a media person, and so you're looked down upon by these idiots. <laughs> so I'm gonna start putting out my own stuff, my own material. Um, I used to share everything that was related to Sarasota County. Now I'm going to share stuff that I think it, that people want to know about that's important that will fall within my schedule for me to put out a video report on. Um, and then I'm the media source, so I get all that information. I'll continue to share that information. 
as, as I go on because I do sit in front of a computer forever. There will be times when I am just too busy with all my medical consulting. So if you're seeing a slowdown in the posting, there's a reason. I'm too busy on the other end. Uh, that's basically it. So you're going to see probably less of the posting. You're going to see my original po videos, um, my original stuff. I might write some more. I'm not going to share any more of the major local major media stuff. On my national page, I'm probably going to share more links than anything because I just don't have the time now. When I have the time, I'll, I'll change that around and shift it back to normal. Um, the advertising will be on the pay on my page to support the hosting and everything else. If you don't like it, leave. Don't read it. Don't watch my videos. Go. Um, don't ask me to um, if anybody cuts lawns or does anything that you can get them because I've have found out over the years that's what I said doesn't work. I've already covered that. Um, but I will share if you got a lost dog or you want to put some story out. I think yesterday Paul Sloan shared a story about medical marijuana. I'll continue to do that stuff. All right. I think that covers everything. I am actually pretty busy. I got a ton of VOBs I have to post and the usual stuff. So this has been Frankie Averzino. Everybody have a safe New Year's um, and a good weekend. And I will talk to you later. So Frankie Averzino with the Uncensored Report. Yeah.